timber man want with being a wiki? It's looking to earn a living. It's like any man. Starting new. On the run. Keeping secrets, are you? No, sir. Why just spill your beans? <laughs> weeks, two days, help me to recollect. Very often, I have the atmosphere of the film in my head before I have the story. There's a way in which The Lighthouse is very much a storybook. It has its own folklore. My brother and I did a lot of research into Northeastern and Western European 19th century folklore. Very quickly, you get into the classics. Legends, marine lore, stories of sailors and mermaids, that's the world that we're living in. I saw a movie called The Witch, and I thought it was great. And immediately after, I went to see it again. And I said, who is this Robert Eggers guy? I want to talk to him. Willem and I had wanted to work together, and I sent Willem a script. When I read the script, it was pure pleasure. It sounded great, so uh, I hopped right on it. What were you working for? It was clearly going to be an adventure. Now, I'm a wiki, and a wiki I is. It was very easy to cast this movie. It's impossible to see it without Rob and Defoe. Because I tell you, I scrubbed this here place twice over. And I say you did nothing of the sort. Defoe is a master and he commits completely and he inhabits the character. No one works harder than Rob. He's a, a very generous performer. You always care about the characters that Rob plays. When I first read it, I knew it was exciting and it kind of seemed very vibrant and crazy. I knew from the language that I would have to have an accent. You must have misheard. It's strangely difficult. It's only been one day. After some research, we settled on an accent that I heard in my head and matched the writing. It was good preparation for these very poetic speeches. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, Tommy. Last night you made a confession that would make a saint swear. I don't have nothing to confess but you. Spilling your beans. Look what it's done to you. It's made you mad. Because it sounds similar to lots of other different things, you can slip. If you say one syllable wrong, you end up in a completely different accent. I and mean, by the end of the scene, you're in, <clears throat> you're Jamaican. You have a way with words, Tommy. <laughs> Why is it bad luck to kill a goat? In them's the souls of sailors. Animals are really important if you're trying to do mythological, fairy tale type things. I had reservations about making that gull such a large character in the film, even though I knew that I wanted Rob to kill a seabird and for that to be the catalyst for everything to go wrong. But my brother convinced me that conceiving this story with this gull would be the best. He wrote a sketch of a couple scenes. I realized, okay, this is pretty cool. I had a certain move that I wanted one of the gulls to do, and when we were doing it, we realized, you know, actually it was better if he just stood still and didn't walk forward. So you could see the gull realizing, oh wait, I'm being rewarded when I don't step forward. They're very intelligent. Gulls are very smart.
The conditions were terrible. I mean, real physical pain and challenge. We shot in a very beautiful area in Nova Scotia. Cape Forshoot is this outcropping of volcanic rock. It was either raining or had a rain machine on for three months. And sometimes the winds are so strong that literally it almost blows you off, off your feet. But there was so much pleasure in what we were doing, it wasn't a problem. Curse me if there ain't an old tar spirit somewhere in your life. I really like to be as authentic to the period as I can. Every building that you see in the film was made for the film. We built a 70-foot lighthouse tower. Yeah, there were a few setbacks. We had um, several days where we had 150 kilometer hour winds. We have a lot of sets that are sort of claustrophobic. Um, and specifically designed for that frame. We needed the outbuildings, but they needed to be our outbuildings that were worn, broken down. We wanted that misery and claustrophobia that um, our characters could react to and, and live in. The set, it was so particular. You could stand there and know exactly what world you're in. Robert is so meticulous about design. The visual language was very specific. It's all integrated. You can't separate the characters from the location. Everything sort of